two hours, our telethon will begin and our studios will be filled with volunteers to help raise money for the Boys and Girls Clubs of the River Region. If you're wondering how these impact our community throughout the morning, we've heard from people who've grown up in the Boys and Girls Club and also a parent who has their child at the Boys and Girls Club and you hear what a difference they can make. So let's check in with WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis. She's live at the West End Boys and Girls Club and Bethany, hearing those stories are pretty powerful. Yeah, it really is. It just gives you an interesting perspective about what happens inside these doors that serve hundreds of children every day, all between the ages of 6 and 18, and all finding here another place to call home. The Boys and Girls Club is a lot of fun and games. It's sports and fitness, but it's also teaching life skills. There's homework and tutoring involved, but there's also encouragement and discipline. Now, many of the children who come here and our members are within walking distance of their homes or they have someone who can drop them off, but many of them rely on the Boys and Girls Clubs to pick them up from school to get here. Well, the vans that the clubs are using, they're aging and they need to be replaced in order to continue transporting those kids safely. The Boys and Girls Club is also looking to expand what it calls Project Learn. This is a program that just really supports students outside of the classroom. It reinforces the skills and the knowledge that they learn at school while they're here at the club. Now listen to this. Membership fees for the Boys and Girls Club is only five dollars a year. So if you do the math, you realize that really doesn't add up to covering all of the costs. It actually costs about $150,000 a year to operate just one of these clubs. So that's where today's telethon comes in, not just to fill the gaps of the basic needs, but to also cover things like Project Learn and the vans that the Boys and Girls Club need to transport these kids safely, guys. All right, Bethy, thank you for that. And we will be out there all afternoon and evening long as that telethon continues. There are three Boys and Girls Clubs in the River Region. She's at the West End Club this morning. There's also the Chisholm Club on Lower Wetumpka Road and the Mount Megs Club. That telethon we mentioned starts again at 11 this morning, just at the same time our program Alabama Live starts at 11. So we'll give you that phone number to call right at the start of Alabama Live at 11 this morning.